guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna show you how I remove my gel manicure. This has been such a highly requested video and I am very anti-foil removal method. I just cannot stand soaking those cotton balls, wrapping them around each finger. I just don't think it works as well. So I'm gonna show you what works best for me. It's pretty quick, it's pretty easy. Your nails really aren't going to be damaged if you do it the right way. I apologize for this awkward filming setup. This is like my really sloppy filming room. There's my backdrop and everything, um, but we're actually gonna be filming down here. So I wanted to just say hello real quick before I flip the camera and uh, jumped right into it. So if you're interested in seeing how I remove my gel nails at home, keep watching. My nails are grown out. This manicure is about two weeks old. You saw me do it on camera. I started picking at it a little, which I hate when I do that, but sometimes it's just kind of inevitable. It'll lift a little and then drive you nuts and you'll pull at it. But today we're gonna take it off. So what you need for this this is 100% pure acetone. And I like to use this one, Onyx Professional. This one is pretty affordable. You want some different buffing cubes of different grits. So this one's very, very, very gritty. And then this one's a little less, this one's a little less, and then this is like very, very fine. So just a good range of those. It's good to have some files on hand as well. These are just a couple that I grabbed. One of these tools, kind of like a half moon, they use it to scoop acrylic a lot of the time, but I use this to push the polish off. I would recommend one of these as well as a cuticle oil. So this one is from Gelish. It's their Nourish. So this ramekin is filled with 100% pure acetone. I'm just going to set it aside for a moment and grab some of my files. What I like to do before I begin the removal is file off as much of the polish as I can. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Not really. So I'm gonna start with the heaviest grit and trying my best to avoid the cuticle area and the skin around the nails. I'm just gonna start buffing the polish. Now I also didn't mention, but down here I have a piece of cardboard and then a dish towel and then like a heavy napkin or paper towel. You're gonna get a lot of polish particles and just dust. So you wanna make sure you protect your table and whatever surface you're using. And then it's easy to just throw this out at the end. Back to the file. So when I do this, I like to do one hand at a time. So we're just gonna work on this hand right now, and then I'll probably do the other one off camera and come back and show you the nails at the end. Now I don't wanna to do too much with the heaviest file because I'm scared I'm gonna hit the nail and I don't wanna thin that out at all. Here I already nicked the tip a little, which is fine because these have to be filed anyway. But what I'm gonna do is move on to a buffing cube that's a little less abrasive and just go over them again. And as you can see, we're starting to really get down there. You can see through the polish. The more polish you can take off with the file, the less time you're gonna spend soaking. So now I'm gonna take the finest grit buffing cube that I have and go over it one more time. That's pretty filed. This isn't gonna take too long to remove. What we're gonna do from here is grab our acetone. Be very careful with this. You don't wanna ruin any tabletops or surfaces. Please make sure that you have some kind of paper towel or napkin set down and then something thicker beneath it. And from here, all we're gonna do is soak our nails, all five at once. So I kinda just ball them up like this and dunk them right into the acetone. And you're gonna let that sit for it really depends. It depends on how much polish you already filed off. So if it's a little thicker, they're gonna to wanna to sit a little longer, but don't skimp on this step. You want the polish to come off effortlessly. 
You want the polish to come off effortlessly, so you don't want to be scraping at it, you don't want to be peeling it. I probably leave my fingers in for about five minutes, maybe less, because I really file it down as much as I can, and I swear it's so, so easy. People get so scared about removal. I do the same exact thing when I remove a dip powder manicure. I've heard horror stories about that, and that's not as scary as it seems either. So I'm wearing a baseball hat today because I just got my eyebrows microbladed yesterday. I love them, but they're very dark and I'm not supposed to be touching them or exposing them to anything. So I thought that the hat might help protect that area today, but aren't they cool? They look so, I mean, they're very, they're very dark, they're very sharp, but when you look up close, the brow strokes are just so natural and I can't wait to see what they look like when they finally heal. So how did you guys like the first video in my manicure series? I loved the feedback. I'm still not set on a name. I don't know if there will be a name maybe I'll just make a playlist on YouTube so you can refer to all of them but it was fun I am so excited to film these videos because this is stuff I love I get really into it right after this I'm gonna film a dip powder video I think I'm gonna try this quick dip starter kit I got it at Sally's I've heard mixed reviews some really really good things some not so great things but I figured what better way to judge than to try it myself so I picked up that kit I didn't love the pink that it came with I mean I did but kind of a classic shade I just don't like with dip or gel man Manicures, any really really light color if it begins to lift you're gonna see it It's gonna look like there's a little air bubble under your nails, and I don't like that All right So these have been soaking for about five minutes and as you can see They're starting to lift around the edges and some little bits are beginning to fall off into the acetone So what I'm gonna do is set it aside and take this little half moon tool Pull it out and push the color right off the nail now it should come off very effortlessly. You don't wanna be taking any part of your nail off. So if you're pushing too hard, stop. Just take off what wants to come off. So like, that's pretty good. Don't force it. Cause I'll show you how we get the rest off. Honestly though, the longer you soak, the less difficult this is gonna be. So I could have probably soaked another minute or so. I wouldn't have to do this next step, but sometimes you don't know, sometimes you're a little impatient and it doesn't really bother me, so. That's it. No damage to the nail. Most of the polish is off. But see how that's a little being a little stubborn. Well, that's not too stubborn. So what I do in this case is I'm just gonna stick my fingers back into the acetone for not long at all. I'm gonna move it up um, maybe a minute, if that. Just sip some of my coffee. You know how I told you I was watching Game of Thrones? Well, we've been blowing through the series. We're in the middle of season four right now, just a few episodes in, and Joffrey just died. I was so excited because I've been waiting for his death. The only thing that I'm a little bummed about is that I wish it was more tragic. You know, he kind of lucked out. He just choked. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sure it sucked and it happened in front of his whole kingdom, but I don't know. I wanted that little I wanted him tortured for everything he did to everyone and how high and mighty he thought he was it was so so annoying But I'm very curious to see how the story continues to develop because the new king is I guess his little brother I don't know. It's gonna be really good. I still can't believe I'm watching that show. All right This is probably done. These bits of polish should be much more cooperative now Coming right off So what looks like it's pulling up the nail, that's actually part of the base coat, that clear part. That's not my nail coming up. If there's still little bits, don't worry. We're gonna use a buffing cube just a little bit to even it out. I'm gonna take that fine buffing cube and I'm just gonna lightly buff the surface. Your nails do grow out, so they're gonna have a little bit of an indent there. Here you can see how much my nail grew in about two weeks. It's a pretty good amount. And this is just gonna help smooth out that surface and remove that ridge. 
I'm not gonna do a full like shaping, filing, prep them for manicure, but for like this one and this one that were a little messed up during the removal, I'm gonna just take one of my files, quickly bring that shape back to normal. Like that. But these look pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is go wash them really quick and then apply some cuticle oil. So I just washed my hands with warm water and soap and now I'm gonna take a cuticle oil. I don't really have a favorite cuticle oil. I like this one a lot and I really enjoy the Sally Hansen Vitamin E cuticle oil. But this one I just keep with my gel manicure stuff so I grabbed it. I do like it, I love how it smells and it works great. So you're just gonna take this and apply it to all your nail. Apply it to all of your nails and cuticles. And then rub it in really well. And that's it. No damage to your natural nail, quick removal process. Honestly, five minutes per hand, maybe. I'm gonna go remove the other hand real quick and then I'll just come back and show you. All right, both hands are completely done. There is not a speck of polish left on any of these fingers. They've been cleaned, they've been buffed, they've been cuticle oiled. I do not have pretty fingers. <laughs> So I am about to do a manicure. That's when I'll go back and file and reshape them. I broke this nail, so I think I'm gonna bring them all down a little because they are getting long. But anyway, that is how I remove my gel manicures at home. So I'm not sure if the salon charges you to remove a manicure if you're going in for a fresh one, but save yourself a little money and it's so, so quick. Avoid that whole foil mess. That's it for this video. Again, I apologize for this weird background. I told you I wanted to make these videos a little more casual and this is literally where I'm doing this today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and leave me a comment below letting me know what kind of manicure or beauty or hair or whatever related content you wanna see on this channel this year. I'm having a lot of fun with the nail stuff, but send me all of your suggestions. Thanks again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.